we're going to need to install RVM. Uh, basically, there are multiple uh, packages of Ruby, multiple uh, versions of Ruby, the, you know, programming language thing. You're not supposed to log in as root, but all right. Um, there's multiple versions. Right now, we don't have a version because this is a fresh install. But anyway, to juggle these versions of Ruby, we use Ruby Version Manager. And it's good stuff, but to get it, you need curl. So let's start out by installing uh, on our little command line. Do apt-get, which is, of course, the Linux, uh, the Debian's version of package installation. You also have access to aptitude, but whatever. apt-get space install to install. Space, we need build-essential, we need git-core, and we also need curl. Type that all in one line. Hit enter. Hit enter because that's the default. Yes, we do want to continue, and away we go. Okay, once that is all installed successfully, we need to install a ton of other stuff. I'm not even going to try to list it off, but you need it for proper, uh, for gem to work properly with RVM and a whole bunch of other subtle things probably. Um, and I'm not going to list it off, but you can go to the website, uh, you know where it is, and you can find that tutorial. Not listing it off, sorry. Okay, now that that automated work is out of the way, we, ha we can begin installing RVM. And we're not going to use apt-get because it's slow to update stuff. Just because it's, it's that stable is how most people like to think about it. Huh. That's a little odd. Unable to... Okay, shoot. Type apt-get update. And it yeah, might avoid some embarrassments down the road apt-get space update um, is your friend. Okay, we'll wait for that to finish. And then we'll reinstall the other packages. But I won't show you that. Ha! Saving time. Okay, well that's updated. I just want to say that uh, you don't see screencasts for Linux uh, installations because you really don't need them. It's a lot easier to look at, you know, procedures like this one here. Um, yeah, you just go line by line. There's no like, alright, position your your mouse at the icon that looks like a duck, but it's not a duck. It's actually a, a goose, which is not a duck. So that's that's why you don't see Linux screencasts. You don't need them. So jump into Linux if you haven't already. It's pretty sweet. I mean, look at this. It's pretty. It's pretty sweet. Okay, now that's all installed, as evidenced by it's returned me to the the command prompt. Um, now that that's done, we can begin installing Ruby, I mean Ruby version manager, and we install it not with apt-get, but with uh, curl. See, we call curl here, and we bring that RVM installer down to earth, and then we execute it to the bash. I think that's what that means. I'm a little foggy on it. I'm new-ish still, uh, but yeah. We'll do that, and I'll pause it so you don't have to hear me ramble. Now we need to do one more thing. RVM's actually installed, but we need uh, we need to add something to our startup script, which starts up at the beginning of Linux. Um, and the quickest way to do that is to echo it pew, pew, into this file. Okay, so all this junk is getting sent into that file. We do that once on root, and you know you can log into whatever account you actually use. I suggest you do that, although I haven't done that in months. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, yeah, you'll, this thing is now good to go. Now, what I have to do is I have, have to actually hit exit, get out of that thing, then the next time I, whoa, thanks, Windows, for doing that for me. All right. Uh, <laughs> Okay, <laughs> surprise! <laughs> um, now, once you've uh, once you've done that, I'll type root. Uh, once you've done that, um, it was in the bash script, and it did in fact, you know, run uh, at at startup. 
And I can prove that by typing RVM, and I get some feedback now. That didn't used to happen, I assure you. We're going to do one last command for good measure. We're going to do RVM PKG for package install uh, zlib, and away we go. And it's going to do something, and it looks looks like it's going to work out for us. I hope. And that's going to end almost immediately. And then we're going to start installing an actual version of Ruby within RVM. RVM manages, you know, your your Ruby versions. It's it's very complicated without RVM. So let's start out by typing RVM install 1.9.2, and away we go. Okay, now that Ruby is installed and compiled, as is uh, Ruby Gems, we we have Ruby installed, but we haven't we haven't told uh, our computer that which Ruby we want to use. And to tell that, we we tell it to RVM specifically. RVM use 1.9.2, the version of Ruby that we installed just a second ago, and it it starts using Ruby 1.9.2. And now we can type at the command line Ruby space dash v and we'll see what version of ruby we have we also will see gem is installed Ooh, gem. but every time you log into the shell you're going to have to type oh, rvm use 1.9.2 remember let's make it so that's the default and to do that you type rvm dash dash default use 1.9.2 and we're good to go. Every time you log in, you're going to have Ruby sitting there on the command line waiting for you to type Ruby-V. How fun. Okay. Let's test out gem. Make sure it installs everything properly. Uh, we'll do gem install. We're going to do uh, 3.0.9. Okay. After all of this junk is installed for Rails, um, we... We now have proven that we have Ruby installed on our machine, and it's it's looking good. Next video is going to be the good stuff, where we install gas. It's a gem. It's a Ruby gem. Can't wait. See you there. Bye-bye.